Okay, so don't mind my nightgown. I've had a few accidents with a little barbecue sauce and some little wine stains, but that is okay. So I am basically downstairs prepping the carpet. Well, not prepping the carpet, but I'm about to um, pull the carpet back, pull up the the nail beds and all of that stuff on the floor, basically getting the floor prepped so that we can start working on the laminate. I know when I was putting together the video for when we did the tile, I didn't really plan on recording. So everything is kind of like in bits and pieces. So I'm gonna try to vlog this process, but I get so excited when we're doing the work and I forget to pick up the camera, but okay. So yeah, so if you watched the part one where we were putting down the tile, and videos was all over the place. It's because we honestly didn't plan on recording, but I did get little snippets. So right now I'm gonna do the carpet. As you can see, if my camera will focus, the carpet is pretty much done. Like it's dirty, it's got grout, cement, paint, some of everything on this carpet. And that was one of the reasons why we really didn't care to be neat and everything was because we knew we were going to rip up the carpet so we really didn't care if it got messed up so we're going to start with the dining room first we're going to go ahead and start the laminate down in the dining room we already painted the ceiling we painted the walls and we painted the wayne's coat um we just got to go through and do the baseboard but i think the baseboards over here are done so we'll see but we're going to start over there in the dining room and then to the opposite side is an identical room and that's just basically where we put everything um and then we'll start over here next half of this stuff in this room is going in the trash except for that sofa that is one of my grandma's antique sofa so i'm gonna find somewhere to put it in the house but most of this room is trash we just got to get to the trash can but it's an exact replica of this room here, and we're going to do the same thing over there. But since this room was empty, they said, let's just start with that room. And here's the beautiful tile that we did. And y'all, like, I love that the grout is not lighter or darker than the floor. It just, it blends in so well. No way. I can't get over this. I need to go change. In nowhere, shape, or form are we professionals, but we have watched some YouTube videos. I reached out to my dad on, like, you know, things to help us out to try to get, you know, direction. So, we're just basically two homeowners that are trying to do it on our own. And if it's just too much, then, of course, we'll go ahead and we'll pay somebody to do it. But I feel like laminate is going to be easy. It's not going to be hard. So, if you're new to my channel, hey, welcome. And... Let's get started. Basically, all I have to do is just, let me get my charger. I still got to vacuum and like get up all the dust and dirt and stuff that's under there, but it's perfect to where it can still just lay flat and not really bother anybody until it's time to take this carpet to the trash. But yeah, y'all, so that's just basically prepping some of the floors. And there you go. 
these came up fairly easy than the ones I did the first time, but I feel like now that I know what I'm doing, that's why it was a little bit easy. And they're long pieces, so I don't have to worry about little bitty crack pieces and stuff. Yeah, little bitty crack pieces, and I can just dump these in the trash can. And then these are my spare nails that didn't come out with the strip that I had to get them out of the ground. So, all right, so we are starting the dining room process. And right now we are putting down this underlayment. This is the one that we bought from Floor and Decor. It's the Sentinel Quiet Premium Underlayment. And this basically goes under the laminate we ordered a laminate cutter from Amazon. So this is what we're going to use to cut our um, laminate. It's a Norski 13 inch sliding laminate cover. So right now, Bay is just going through getting the measurements right so that we can get this all taped together so we can go ahead and start putting the laminate down. Just making sure it all lines up and the cuts are to perfection. watching a YouTube video to kind of figure out what direction we are going in as far as making sure we have this together and I think we got it right I mean so far this is as tight as we can get it so this is our next piece and Bay is gonna have to cut this piece so that it can fit You got your marker? I thought I ordered the one that had like a gauge on it where you pull this thing and it stops it so you don't even have to mark where you measure it every time you cut because it stops it automatically but I don't think I ordered that one. How straight is it? Let me see. A clean cut. I just gotta get that extra stuff right there. Look at that. Smooth. How'd you cut that tight? That's how I gotta lock into the other piece. If you cut it, how it's gonna lock? You're absolutely right. Yeah, so you don't need to cut two sides. You don't need to cut one side. That's why I was like, is this the side that's going toward the wall? Yeah. yeah. Not in. This probably gonna be tedious. It's not clicking at all. Yeah. 
Yep, that's better, ain't it? Give it a little more. That's, I can't tell if I'm gonna have to watch some more videos. Yes, in there. Okay. I remember I seen somebody hammering that shit too. Just gotta make sure this way man. So I wonder if he said that's why maybe take your next row, put it together, then slide it in so you can go down and block it in, maybe. They say the first three rows are the hardest. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I don't know. I don't have my phone. Huh? I don't have my phone. This one came out. <laughs> we need to take a five and then get on YouTube and figure out how to keep it from uncoming together. I think that's probably the hardest part. Yeah. Is that it keeps separating. I'm pretty sure once we get the method down pack, it'll be easy. It's just, we just gotta. It's just, the first three we gotta find our groove. Right now, we got, we ain't got no groove. There we go. Well, don't, don't do it. Saying, oh. If you, pull it, if you can, if, when you pull it, if it's sliding up and down and stuff, then you know that shit ain't in there. But when you pull it and it's not moving no way, mm. that thing locked down. Okay. We gotta wipe the baseboards off too. Yeah. So it is day one and it is three hours later and we're going to take a break. We're doing something wrong. So we're going to do some research, get back on YouTube and watch some videos. Well, Bay says he doesn't think we're doing anything wrong, but I think we just need to do more video searching to find a better method because it's like once we move to the next row, the piece comes undone and then we have to go back through and make sure that it's pieced together. So we're just gonna take a break. It's late, we both have to work tomorrow and maybe try this again tomorrow or on our next day off that way we're rejuvenated fully rested and we can knock this out because it's not a big room so i definitely feel like once we get our groove going on we can knock this out in like an hour two and a half hours tops but yeah we're just gonna end day one and call it a day and recoup and try this again another time yeah yeah this is it any words babe this is gonna come out straight i don't feel like we're doing anything wrong you know what I mean? And I feel like it's gonna work out. You know, everything's gonna be good to go. Like I said, we just got like a little pattern. We just gotta 
Not really a pattern, just a groove that we got to do. So we, we got to find our our shit in the bud. You feel me? Like how we did with the tile and stuff. How we start getting the hang of it in that groove, and then we just start knocking it out. Yeah. So I just feel like you know. We should find our groove. Yeah, yeah. All right. As y'all can tell, I'm a little camera shy, so I don't like my. <laughs> All right, Kobe, take us away. All right, everybody, you gonna take us away, Kylie? Say signing out. Signing out. Bye.